Hello, folks, and welcome to another edition of Bite Mark Masters. My name is Lewis Johnson. I'm glad you join us. Today, we're going to be making spaghetti. Let's get started, shall we? Um, just to save time, I went ahead and started boiling some water. You want to get a pot about this size going, uh, some boiling water. Uh, just for those that need the recipe, uh, you can go into our website or Facebook, and right below the video, you should see a, a link to go ahead and, and get the measurements for everything. So. I got the boiling water going, and I also have my pot, as you can see, cooking with uh, already preheated. I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil. Oh, that's really going. I'm glad I've got it going right now here. And I'm going to add in my ground beef. Now, on the Facebook page or on the ingredients, I say use 80 20 or 90 10. The reason being is because the uh, the grease that the meat brings already. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this down. I got it to about medium, and I'm gonna just start breaking it down. Now for spaghetti, I like the all the ingredients to marinate, so I'm not gonna cook this all the way through right away. What I'm going to do is get it 25 to 35% done, and that's me eyeballing it. And now that it's cooled, and then what I'm going to start doing is adding in the other ingredients so that everything meshes together. And I'm going to turn my water back up so it's get hot enough. Get that out the way here. So now that my meat is starting to get a little bit brown, I'm going to sprinkle a little seasoning on here. I have a little minced onions, uh, some oregano, a hint of basil, uh, ground basil. And then I'm also going to use a little fresh vegetables in this one. Got a little green pepper, a hint of um, red, uh, jalapenos. Ooh. And I'm actually going to use the rest of these in my water for my noodles. The reason why I'm going to do that is because I like to have my noodles with flavor. And what this is going to do is, is incorporate all the water. It's going to grab that flavor from those vegetables, that seasoning, and put it right into my noodles. So I'm stirring this again. And I, I go little by little on this. I don't want this to rush because you want to make sure your noodles and your meat are done about the same time. So I'm turning this up a hair. And I want this fine. So I continue to mesh this in. And then I have a can of diced tomatoes with sauce. And I'm going to pour everything into it. And this is going to help the meat start to grab that flavor. So now the meat is going to grab the tomato flavor. And I'm going ahead later on here and adding tomato sauce. But as you add in little by little, your meat just starts to grab that flavor and incorporate it all into one. And it really tastes great in the long run. My water is starting to get hot again and boiling. Look at that beautiful meat. Oh, man. My water's boiling, so I'm going to grab my noodles. And what I tend to do is break them. And the reason why I break them is because it helps them cook faster. Um, also, when you're uh, serving them up, they're not this long noodle. You have these nice evenly cut noodles. So what I'm going to do next is to help this cooking process, I'm going to put the lid on it and let it cook. And now it's pretty much the waiting process. We're going to wait for the noodles to cook. We're going to wait for our meat to get ready. And pretty soon we'll have a, an amazing meal. So what you do want to do is every now and then stir the noodles 
to make sure that they're not sticking. I'm using a regular prong fork and I'm looking at it and grabbing it. And because the noodles are already, the water was already hot, um, it's already cooking. Now, I do not like soft noodles. I like mine's a little bit more firmer. I think that with it being firm, it still grabs enough flavor. It's not real mushy, but at the same time, it gives you that freshness. So um, that's why I choose it. I, I, I like the, the firmer noodle. That's just my personal preference. You can cook it longer. Um, check it every so often to see how the noodle is. Uh, I will be checking mine's in about a few more minutes here because my water's doing well, as you can see the steam. So let's check the meat, shall we? And as you can see, the meat is pretty much done now. And so what I'm gonna do is slow down the process and I'm gonna drain some of this liquid because I don't want my sauce to be this liquidy and I still have to put in my tomato sauce. And now we're gonna add in our spaghetti sauce. At this point in time, I have my eye down to low because once again, you really want to have the sauce incorporated in with the meat. And I'm going to place the lid back on it. And I'm not going to stir it just yet. So once again, I'm just going to check them. They were just about to my liking when I tried them the first time. Perfect. That's what I like. Simply going to grab a couple noodles. And a dash of sauce. I want some of that fresh vegetable on there. Then I'm just going to sprinkle a little of the grain for prettiness. And there you have it. Spaghetti made simple, easy, and definitely enjoyable. I want to thank you again for uh, stopping, and I hope you enjoyed the meal. And until next time, thanks for joining the Bite Bar Masters. Have a great day now.